The operation video from our same team on changing the US version iPhone 14 Pro Max is in without the car to do the same phone. A lot of people only think that the non sync car mobile phone are iPhone 14 Series, 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max. But long, long time ago, the one from the Apple's fourth generation CDMA is also cordless. I don't know if you remember. This is a normal iPhone 14 which can insert a SIM card. US version iPhone 14 can insert a card. Today we will release the video of changing no SIM card iPhone 14 Pro and it is recommended to buy car stickers and tutorial videos from our SIM team if you have the US version iPhone 14 Pro Max. The US version long iPhone has two more antennas. This antenna is not available in China version. There is an antenna in this area. The China version does not. There is also an antenna on the back. A millimeter wave antenna. They all go this way. The US version has three more antennas. That's three more antennas. I don't think you can use it in China. After you get rid of it, you can see where the slot is. All bare. Let's take this antenna off first. We will have to install it that later. Next, we are going to start to install the car slot position first. Measure the slot side before installation. We'll see whether we can measure the resistance we want. If there is resistance, we don't need to change the circuit. But unfortunately, all the measurements are infinite. We still need to change the circuit. The card can be read without changing the circuit. There were cordless films when iPhone 4 came out. A lot of people must have forgotten about it. As of today, the first series of the US version of iPhone 14 are all cordless. So today we are going to change these cordless to card inserted. Before the refit, we need to prepare a card slot. We certainly can buy the card slot of iPhone 14 series now. We can only use this iPhone 13 slot. But the iPhone 13 slot needs to be modified and then put it on. It's easy to change. You can have these pins that are affecting our installation. These are going to be cut out. The slot won't fit without the cutting in off. All the cutting out these pins are in the right place and they can be used. The position of the car switch is also wrong. After we fix this, car switch function must still be used. So the car switch should also be changed. It can't read the card without changing it. It doesn't mean it can't read the card. The hot plug function is gone. After the refit, we also need to ensure that the hot plug function works normally. You got the position of this slot first. Wait a minute, this ID used for welding. What does that mean? Because there is a little bit difference between the iPhone 13 slot from iPhone 14 slot. Most of the pin's position are usable. You can use all these pin positions. Only the pin position of the car switch is misplaced. So, green that plastic. Put it on the car switch position later. We weld right here. Then we get the hot plug function. Otherwise, the hot plug function will be lost. Once the slots are ready, the next step is to layer. Look at the difference between the layers. Come on, get ready to layer. The difference between the layers. Once that's done, it won't be a big problem. Now, the whole series of the iPhone 14 is welded in low temperature. Layering is especially easy. When the temperature comes up, take the top off first. Take it off and test it. Later. Alright, that's what I said these two snails. And this one needs to be removed now. This one needs to be dismantled and this one needs to be dismantled. The point is that this side and this side is the area where the card is changed. Just these two sides and everything else is fine. Now we need to find the pull down. Find out the pull down. Let's change the pull down to the pull up. Then remove the chip and change the resistance. Wait a minute. Let's look at the structure. So, after we look at the structure, we will look at it. Anyway, these are the general areas that need to be changed. I found them all. It's in this row. This row and this one up here are right here. Okay, found the pull down. But now, the pull up has also been found. And then, move that resistor over. 
use the multimeter to find the pull-up resistance of the pads. Oh, there it is! Alright, let's have a look. The pull-up is right here. This is too far to get here. Okay, at this point, we found the resistors. Come on, this is fast. And now we are going to measure the resistance to see if it's the one. Let's take a careful look. Yes, it is the right one. Get rid of it later. It's the right one. Let's get rid of this. After that, we will install it in this area. Okay, find it. The next step is to refit. We get rid of the resistors. This is the pull down. Take this pull down off and then put this pull down on position of the pull up. Just put it in this air section. Wait a minute, deal with it. It won't get away. And then we remove these two resistors. Don't throw away the resistors which are taken out. Let's use them. Put one by one. Okay, take out the eSIM card chip and throw it away. Don't keep it, it is useless. You can just throw it away. Let's start with this hollowed out area. Now we can directly install the slot. Two positions are not convenient to operate. Now these two positions, I'm going to tim them a little bit. The car switch will lose the function without tinting. Put all these pins in the middle first. This way the car slot will not be crude. This should be right in the middle. There is an error, I did not test after the cost mode installed, then you can just paste it. Closing the thermal paste, this step certainly cannot be cancelled. Uh. After basting it up, I found that there is a card that cannot be read, and then we continue to test. The stock slot has an infinity. Eventually, the barrier has to be removed, and then you get rid of it, and you have zero arrow resistors here. You have to connect it, then it can read two SIM cards, a mistake, with a fitting time. And then I'm going to connect with this, and then we don't need to fit it in a hurry. First of all, check the resistance of the whole boots. Zero ohms, we can use resistors. You could use a piece of tin. You can also use a guard inductor that does not affect this. Alright, so let's start with the one that I forgot to connect. It's this food position. It is infinite. Well, now we have it. We know that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 spots in one card. One is grounded and one is infinite. All the rest is organized. Okay, infinite resistance, resistance, okay. And then ground resistors. Resistance, resistance, okay, is infinity. Okay, the resistance value is right. There must be no problem now. Both cards can be read normally. Okay, it's time to refit again. I remove all the thermal conductive paste to get this out. Now we need to deal with the thermal conductive paste again. And when it fits, let's test whether the dual card can be read. After inserting the SIM card, it informs us to activate. Then this phone has been changed into dual SIM card film successfully. Okay, here's one card, the second card we are using now. Let's try again. Good, insert the card and then get the information to activate. But it can be activated at this time because we are not allowed to activate this card. You have to put it in the card sticker to release the normal signal. By RSIM 18, including card stickers and card slots, a whole series of SIM card holders. Insert the RSIM card sticker to unlock and activate the phone. 
The SIM card scenario is normal. Welcome to buy our SIM card sticker, the 14 Pro car holder will fit. An iPhone frame with car spot. Thanks to RGK and SE team for the above repair and refit technology.